going on you guys my name is Wolf and welcome to today's video so in today's video I'm going to tell you guys the number one thing I wish I had known before going to freshman orientation so it's very hard to find your find your way around a college campus when you're first going to college and unless you're kind of there all the time or you've already looked into it it's very difficult to find your way around and this just isn't for me this could be for a lot of college students and I, didn't, I had never been to this college campus before. And of course, there's a lot of things I wish I would have known before going to freshman orientation, but this thing caused me the biggest problems. And this thing is was the most difficult to deal with because it was just, it kind of dug into time that I could have used to choose in my classes, or I just could have known where I was going, but this is was the most difficult thing to deal with and the most difficult thing about freshman orientation and the number one thing I wish I would have known going in. And the number one thing would be, I wish I would have known where I was going or where the buildings were or just what to look out for for certain, certain buildings. But at the college campus I went to for the first time, these buildings were almost exactly alike. There were like only three buildings that were separate from each other that looked nothing alike like the other buildings. And those would be like the business building, huge building, lots of glass windows, looked Nothing like the other building stood up like stood out like a sore thumb. The library, the longest building, and it's very easy to see that it's just a library and there's a fountain right there, so you kinda of know it's a library. And then the building where the dean is and that building had like a pointed top and it was very easy to tell the difference between that building and the other buildings. But all the other buildings were almost exactly alike. Didn't have any noticeable features that told me this is what this building is. This is where you go for this building. This is what's in this building. This is all this kind of stuff. It didn't tell me that. And the dorms looked exactly alike. So I was always so confused because you had to go to a dorm for the first time for freshman orientation. And I kind of got lost going to the certain dorm that I needed because I didn't know which dorm I was supposed to go to. I didn't know where it was. And the orientation leaders, they do tell you where it is, but you still have a good chance of getting lost. I ended up going to the wrong dorm following other students and we all turned around and went back to the other dorm to where we were staying. So we all got kind of turned around a little bit, but I had never been to this campus before and a lot of people haven't, hadn't been to this campus before either. I had taken like a tour of the campus once, but we didn't go very far. We kind of stayed in a certain vicinity and I'm pretty sure I was freezing my butt off. so. I was more focused on the cold, but it was so complicated to find my way around and that's like the number one thing I wish I knew because it caused so many problems and the number one thing I remember of where this would have helped is so we went to speak with our advisors or they came to us in the science building and they're talking to us about what classes we wanted. They're telling me what classes to take for the freshman year. I'm just listening and finally it's over and they tell me go to the computer lab in so and so building and they don't give you any instructions on where it is. No one gives us instructions on where it is. So I walk outside and this girl that I was in the same orientation group with, she's kind of looking around like and she asks me where do we go? Do you know where it is? I'm like I have no clue. So we both are kind of in the same boat but we start walking and we have no idea where we're going. So we start walking and we're just walking until we come to a map on campus, just like a box of a map on campus. And it says through here, the building's here. So we start walking that way. We start walking the other way. So we're probably going this way, but we start walking that way, something like that. And we're walking and we find a dorm building, but this building was not on the map of where we were supposed to go so we're lost again so we keep walking and we find another map and it says the dorms here we're here the buildings like right here so we're like oh my gosh we're finally so close so we start walking that way and we do finally find the building we're supposed to be in and we find the computer lab the room is much easier to find of course than what the building is and we sit down we start looking for classes and the next group that I knew was behind us comes in and it took them like 20 or 30 minutes to find it just like us so I knew it wasn't just me but this is like the number one thing I wish I had known and that's because it caused so many problems it just was so complicated and probably more than it should have been but it was just so complicated and so difficult to find 
our way around to find my way around. So I wish I had known where to go. I wish I had looked more into it. I wish I would have known that I needed to find the buildings probably beforehand or just know where I'm supposed to go beforehand or carry like some sort of map all the time with me even though I'm not sure the map would have entirely helped because you never know which way you're going until you find the next building and by then you're probably farther away from the building you need to be in but finally when classes did start I did find all my classes and find the perfect route to get to my classes so thankfully that was easy I did end up finding my classes because I kind of walked those trails a few times with during like a week before class started so luckily I did do that and I just wasn't running around trying to find these buildings but it was probably that was probably the number one thing I wish I would have known where to find the buildings and how to find them and where they were it was just so complicated and it was such a huge huge mess trying to find buildings where you were kind of on your own but have you guys ever had trouble finding buildings on campus? Did you guys have trouble finding them during freshman orientation? So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as usual, you guys, I'll see you guys next time in the next video. So see you guys later.